teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Bill Barnwell of ESPN is probably my favorite NFL writer on the internet uh, for ESPN. Fortunately, his articles are ESPN Plus, so if you don't get that, you can't read them. But he usually does about two a week during the NFL season. Today, he wrote an article, or an article was posted, where he ranked the four start main starting quarterbacks from the 2020 NFL draft class. That being Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Herbert, and Tua Tagovailoa. So, figured we could take a look at, compare them in different categories, and I'll rank them at the end. And my ranking was out of the four was actually the same as Bill Barnwell, as much as I love him. You know, usually I'll slightly disagree with him, but... I decide to rank them the same exact four the way he did, and I ranked them before I even looked. But let's get into it. Let's compare them, the four quarterbacks, in different categories. So I'm going to rank them by uh, the rankings this season, and then in parentheses is their career more marks. So Tua uh, leads the NFL in passer rating this season at 112 Point oh, uh, Jalen Hurts and Joe Burrow are both over 100 as well. Burrow, the only one with a career quarterback rating of over 100. If we go next to QBR, if that's more your thing, Tua also leads the four quarterbacks at 77.4. Uh, same order as, as passer rating for this season. Uh, there is no career QBR, so the first number in parentheses is their rookie season. And their second number in the parentheses is their sophomore season. So the first two seasons, Herbert led the way both of those two seasons. But uh, he is bringing up the rear this year amongst the four. Next, let's take a look at their TD percentage, pass of their uh, percentage of their pass attempts that go for scores. Tua also on top. Um, but Joe Burrow in second, and he has the highest career mark. Uh, Justin Herbert uh, definitely bringing up the rear this year, not even 4%, uh, but at 5% for his career. Interception percentage, Jalen Hurts has taken outstanding care of the ball, uh, throwing an interception less than 1% of his passes. While Joe Burrow is in last, keep in mind, four interceptions came in the opening week against the Steelers. Uh, he's been a lot less careless with the ball since then. Completion percentage, Joe Burrow is up top. Uh, for the season and for his career amongst the four. But all four of them are completing at least two-thirds of their passes this season. What strides Jalen Hurts is making. Uh, Hurts barely completed over 50% his rookie year, and now he's close to 70 this year. Uh, let's look at their rushing yard, career rushing yards and TDs. Jalen Hurts is by far the best running quarterback of the four. Uh, Tua really doesn't run much at all. Uh, meanwhile, Herbert and Burrow are do their thing on the ground. Uh, Herbert much less so this season than his first two. Uh, Burrow has five rushing touchdowns on the season. And then their career records as starters. So Jalen Hurts, 11-1 this season. Tua, 8-2 as a starter, although he did only lose just one game where he uh, started and then finished as well. Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert. Um, Herbert, again, has never had a career record of over 500 in his career. So that's just a few of the career numbers and season numbers to compare the four. So as I mentioned, I actually have the same four uh, rankings as Bill Barnwell did. And it's definitely tough, uh, and Barnwell agrees. He probably wouldn't have done an article if this was an easy decision to make. First, I had to go Joe Burrow. He's the only one who has a playoff win. The only one, other one who has a start in the playoffs is Jalen Hurts. Uh, not only does Joe Burrow have a playoff win, he has three playoff wins uh, and had a pretty good chance at winning the Super Bowl. His offensive line let him down. Uh, second, I do have Jalen Hurts slightly over Tua. Uh, Hurts arguably could be the league's MVP with uh, five games left in the Eagles season. Uh, really, I would say him and Mahomes are the two favorites. Third, I have Tua. Um, Tua I would have had last going into the season, but Tua 
Um, you know, my main question with him is durability. Yes, he has missed games. Uh, you know, he had that whole concussion controversy, uh, but, you know, he's been one of the league's best quarterbacks this season when he's played um, and definitely has silenced some of his doubters this season. And last, Justin Herbert, um, you know, could still be a top 10 quarterback in this league. It's definitely been hard judging him fully this season. Keenan Allen's missed much of the season. Mike Williams has missed much of the season. Uh, but again, Herbert yet to lead his team to the playoffs. Uh, they're going to have a tough time making it this year as they sit at 500. Uh, might have to go 4-1, and one, maybe 3-2 and two, to have a chance at the playoffs. But what do you guys think? Do you agree with mine and Bill Barnwell's rankings? Again, I got Joe Burrow first. I got Hurt second to a third. And Justin Herbert fourth. Let me know in the comments how you would rank these four. Uh, not in the rankings is Jordan Love. We just haven't seen enough of Jordan Love. He was also in that class of 2020. I'm kind of hoping we get to see more of him this season. And what do you think? Could this these uh, quarterbacks compared to the class of 1983, which of course was led by Dan Marino, John Elway, and Jim Kelly, and then 2003, I believe. Uh, where it was Eli Manning, no, 2004, sorry, Eli Manning, Ben Roethlisberger, and Philip Rivers. Do you think they could compare to those two draft classes uh, by the time all their careers are over? Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.